Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Kelvin here. Many of us invest in US stocks, which means that many of our wealth is in the US dollar. However, a while ago, Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett's Coco, right hand man, said this. I think the safe assumption for an investor is that over the next 100 years, the currency is going to zero. Now, maybe you don't believe in Charlie Munger because he don't like your doggy coin. But it's not the first time this has been mentioned. In the past, there have been many warnings that the dollar could crash and eventually go to zero. Actually, it's not whether you want to believe it or not. It's already happening. Since 1913, the value of USD has dropped by over 90%. And with the inflation going to the moon recently, it does seem more and more likely that the US dollar could really be worthless in the future. So in this video, I want to share whether the USD could really go to zero then I will tell you what you can do to protect your wealth. But before I start, I would greatly appreciate it if you can help to tap the like button. In return, I will show you a cute baby goat. Alright, let's start right now. Okay, before we talk about all the scary stuff like dollars going to zero, let's first talk about the history of USD. The USD actually started way back in 1690, but I will start from there because ain't nobody got time for that. Instead, I will start from 1913 where the US came up with the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve, or the Fed, is just the US National Bank, which was founded to make sure that the US financials and US dollar is doing well. And yes, that includes printing money when needed. Hashtag foreshadowing. Then, in 1944, US came together with 43 other countries to come up with something called Bretton Woods Agreement. Under this new system, US dollars will be packed to gold and other currencies will be packed to US dollar. And this is super duper important because now all the countries are tied to the US dollar. Here, you can see that the USD is the most held currency in countries around the world, making USD the global currency. This gives USD a lot of power, like a lot. Of course, many countries didn't like it and they are taking steps to bypass the USD. For example, Europe is making their own international payment system. China is devaluing its yuan against USD. Russia is removing USD from its wealth fund. Besides that, China has also been taking steps to eventually pay for oil using yuan in the future. Because up till now, oil price was always quoted in USD due to an agreement with Saudi Arabia to standardize oil price with USD. As you can see, slowly and slowly, the USD is losing the power that it once had. Then in 1971, Richard Nixon abolished the gold standard, meaning that now one USD no longer have to be one dollar of gold. And guess what they did after that? Yes, you got it right. Printing more money. Originally after World War II, US debt has been going down. Then, right after US removed the gold standard in 1971, US debt started going back up. In fact, in just the last 22 months, US had printed 80% of USD in assistance. If you look at the US debt, right now it's around $30 trillion. And they are paying hundreds of billions of dollars on interest alone. Okay, so previously, we can say that USD is backed by gold. But now, what is USD backed by? The simple answer is full faith and credit of the US government. Yep, USD is backed by faith. The exact same faith that's causing Bitcoin to be worth 40k now. But do you know what doesn't have to depend on faith? Learning. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes for all sorts of topics. They got tons of classes on personal finance, stock investing, and options trading. So, as you guys know, I'm always trying to learn new stuff. And right now, I'm taking a class called Creativity Unleashed. Discover, hone, and share your voice online by Nathaniel Drew, who's, by the way, another YouTuber. In this class, Nathaniel shares his past experiences which led to his current success. I also learned about how to determine my value as a creator overcoming my insecurities and how to evolve as the channel grows. So because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, the first 1,000 people to use the link or my code, Kelvin Learns Investing, will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. In this one month, you can take dozens of these classes from creativity to entrepreneur to improving your life. So go click the link in the description. Sure, you'll get to support this channel, but more importantly, you'll get to learn tons of new stuff from Skillshare. With that being said, let's get back to the video. So now, the question is, can the USD collapse? Okay, to answer this question, let's look at how other currencies did in the past. I found an article that says the average life expectancy for fiat currency is just 27 years. What? 27 years? 
That's like shorter lifespan than our Singapore's HDB. Ah. But then someone debunked that, saying it's just sloppy work and bad data. I also found another article saying that the average life expectancy of a currency is about 35 years. However, I can't find any real data to back it up. So just take it with a pinch of salt, yeah? But the lesson to learn here is that fiat currency collapsing is actually super duper common and it happens more often than you think. The usual reasons for the collapse are corrupt and incompetent government, which often leads to hyperinflation. So if you don't know what's hyperinflation, basically think of Shiba Inu going to the moon. But in this case, it's the price of your toilet paper going from $20 to $1,000 tomorrow. Luckily, some of you have stocked up on toilet papers beforehand. <laughs> for example, in 1944, Greece inflation was at 13.8 thousand percent. Germany in 1923, 29.5 thousand percent inflation. Yugoslavia in 1994, 313 million percent inflation. But the craziest example was 1946 Hungary, where the inflation was at a godlike 13.6 quadrillion percent, where the prices was doubling every 15.6 hours. Now, maybe you don't really care about those currencies. You'd be like, ah, yeah, what Hungary, what Yugoslavia, also not my problem. At most, I only go there for holiday, yeah. But check this out. This is a reliable source by JP Morgan, in which it found that reserve currencies have a lifespan of about 100 years. At the start, it was Portugal, Spain, Netherlands, France, Britain, and now US. And guess what? US dollars have actually exceeded its life expectancy recently. So does this mean that the US dollars will collapse? Well, yes. But no, here's why. First, US debt. Okay, while it's true that the US debt has been going up and up, and US have to pay higher and higher interest, however, US will not default on its debt. Why? Because you need to remember that the US debt is in USD. And what does US do when it needs more USD? Yup, they just print more money to repay the debt. If you look at other countries that default on debt, it's because they owe another country debt. For example, Argentina is in a lot of trouble because it owes money to a global fund. Greece had a debt crisis because it owes money to the European Union. Meanwhile, US be like, debt? What is that? Can print one lah. Second, US economy is doing well. So while inflation is going up, businesses are shutting down, GDP is slowing down, all these scary stuff are just the after effects of the pandemic. There is nothing wrong with the economy. In fact, companies are earning more and more money than ever. Oh, I mean some companies. Unemployment rates have gone back down to low levels. There are job vacancies everywhere. Even the stock market is going back to all-time highs. Things are definitely better for the US in recent years. Other than the fact that some countries might want to nuke them. Third, no one wants USD to collapse. So while a few large countries want to move away from USD, the rest of the world are still packed to USD. And even though China is moving away from the USD, China still doesn't want USD to collapse. Partly because US is China's biggest customer in exports. We can also see that China owns US debt, but it's not selling them off because, you know, it's counterproductive for China to do that. Okay then, what about USD losing its reserve currency status? It's not likely either, simply because there's no better candidates. And because of these reasons, it's very unlikely that USD will fail. But that doesn't mean that USD won't continue to decline because you can be sure that USD will still go down over time. So what can you do? Maybe invest in China like Charlie Munger? Okay, okay, I know that many people don't like to invest in China because there's crackdowns, crackdowns everywhere. So here are two things that you can really do. First, you can invest in global ETFs. Instead of just focusing on US stocks or US ETFs, you can consider investing in ETFs that focus on many countries. For example, SWRD invests in companies from developed countries like Japan, UK, Canada, and so on. Another one is EIMI, which invests in developing countries like China, Taiwan, India, South Korea, and so on. By investing in ETFs that has holdings in many countries, you are not just betting on US to do well, you are also betting that the entire world will do well too. Okay, I know that some of you don't like to invest in global ETFs because they might give a lower return. You want fast and furious. So here's a better alternative. Invest in stocks that have a global exposure. There's a few benefits to this. First, companies that have overseas business will be able to diversify their forex risk. And second, if USD is falling, they actually can earn more from their foreign currency revenue. The examples are the usual, Google, Apple, Amazon, McDonald's, and so on. So just invest in those companies and you'll be fine. In short, while the USD is slowly losing value, 
you don't have to panic just yet. As long as you invest your money in good stocks, you'll be fine. Anyway, that's all for today. But do you think that the USD will collapse or not? Comment down below and let me know. Like, share and subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday.